My name is Nika and I came to the, to the Vegan Society in, in course of my internship. I'm, I'm a student at Buckingham University uh, and I've always been very interested in all things food related so I thought that would be a nice thing to pursue. My research project was about looking at the challenges that we are facing now as a society and uh, looking at different groups that kind of arisen arose um, to address these challenges in one way or another. The challenges that we are facing right now, they are often described as a perfect storm because they are a mixture of multiple things. For example, climate change, uh, social justice issues, um, and numerous other things, including uh, the state of health and the economy. Stock-free growing, or stock-free farming as it's also known, um, it is growing um, without animal inputs whatsoever, so this excludes animal manures, but also other animal, animal um, products and inputs such as dairy products or anywhere from um, horns to furs to blood meal essentially and instead of that um, stock free growing kind of relies on ecological processes particularly ones um, that go on in the soil so it's really a matter of keeping soil healthy and productive and fertile by doing proper crop rotations but also including um, you know legumes, green manures, um, composting things like that. When we talk about veganism, we often define it as a lifestyle which excludes as far as practical and possible all forms of animal um, use and exploitation. And um, Stock Free is really taking this to the next step, to the next level, if you will, um, by really addressing the issues that go beyond our shopping at supermarkets. The first thing is always um, try to look to find a local supplier in your uh, neighborhood try to see if there's some um, allotments that you could take care of or um, help out with. Um, see if you have a back garden or if you could um, grow some food in pots, for example. Well, currently not, but I have a plot coming up when I, uh, when I return from, uh, from UK. And I've been working on a project in Slovenia called Urban Faros. So we've been planting some school gardens in a community garden. But there's been many stories in the field that really touched me, but I think what was most fascinating about it is that you really see groups um, that are working well now um, and are really thriving, but it all started uh, with one or two or maybe three individuals that really came together and I said, well, this is really bugging us, so you know, what could we do about it? Why does not nobody do anything about it? And they decided, well, maybe we could give it a shot. So they really um, kind of made a project out of it and they, uh, yeah, it kind of grew wings and eventually it also grew some vegetables and communities along the way. So stock free far farming is not as widely known at the moment. And I think also it's one of those things that you have to take another step back as we did with when we first turned um, towards veganism um, and really look beyond the choices that we make. Um, go one step back um, all the way to the farmers to the produce, producing of food um, and then see how we can address that. First of all, I was really warmly received at the office. Everybody was extremely kind and accommodating. Um, they showed me around and showed me all, all the ropes, really. And it was really helpful that you already had some local contacts established uh, that I could um, tap into them um, to really aid my research in that way. Yeah, it was just really nice to work in a, such a highly motivated um, team of really involved people. It was really helpful to have a research committee because um, they were really people from academia that, that knew the theories, but they were also very involved with the practices of veganism, so they knew what it was about. And it didn't sound strange to them that you would want to combine it with your academic work and curriculum. So if you have an idea for your internship or volunteering work, um, feel free to contact the volunteer coordinator and uh, she's gonna reply in, in timely manner, um, usually with some tips on who to contact next and uh, what topics could be appropriate.